All right, good afternoon or good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome out to Eagles Arena here in Grand Forks as we've got high school girls hockey on the air tonight between the Grand Forks Knight Riders and the Thief River Falls Prowlers. The Knight Riders coming to this one, a five and one. The Prowlers coming to this one with a record of nine and two on the season. As we bring it ringside, my name is Chris Larson. He is Marcus Dale. Marcus, how's it going today? It's going good. It was uh, it was a journey to get here, but we're in Grand Forks. <laughs> we are in Grand Forks, and we should be in for a very good matchup today. Yeah. Uh, as we've got the 9-2 and two Thief River Falls Prowlers coming in here to Eagles Arena to take on a very hot Grand Forks Knight Riders hockey team. A team that uh, going into last weekend had a lot to play for. Nine points available on the line last weekend. And guess what? The Grand Forks Knight Riders picked up all nine points. Yep, that's a big weekend. Absolutely it is. And, and tonight they look to continue their streak. Right now the Knight Riders on a 5-0 and streak. Uh, coming into this one, or a five-game winning streak I should say. And uh, the Prowlers, they're getting hot at the right time as Thief River Falls uh, will look to knock the Knight Riders off tonight in what should be a very good Highway 2 battle between two powerhouses here in North Dakota. We'll come back with more on the pregame show. We'll do that after this break. You are watching high school hockey from Eagles Arena in Grand Forks back after this timeout on Digital North Media. Just a reminder, kids who participate in high school activities tend to go a little farther than those who don't. Take part. Get set for life. This isn't Madison Square Garden. These drills probably won't make anyone a number one draft pick. But these players are practicing for something important. While they work on their jump shots, they're also learning teamwork, discipline, self-confidence, how to deal with wins and losses. Skills that will make them winners long after they leave the court. Support high school activities in your community. Because when kids take part, they get set for life. National studies show that students who participate in activities like music, sports, and drama not only have better grades and attendance, but they develop the character to handle adversity, the grace to accept defeat, and the self-confidence to start over. Take part. Get set for life. All right, back here at Eagles Arena in Grand Forks. Marcus Dale, Chris Larson here with you. I uh, hope you uh, are excited for high school hockey action, as excited as we are. It's been a while since we've been at the rink here, Marcus. Uh, it has. But I tell you what, this is a, a charged-up Knight Rider hockey team that is uh, that is ready to come out, ready to swing with the punches, as so to say. But uh, hopefully there are no punches thrown tonight. Oh, man. <laughs> but uh, I tell you what, uh, not sure who the goaltender is going to be tonight, but... Uh, this is uh, this is a Knight Rider hockey team that is has uh, come in and really taken the the state by by storm in the last couple of games. Of course, uh, dating back to that big win on Stick It to Cancer Night mm -hmm. uh, just uh, three games ago, and then going into last weekend's uh, uh, Western Swing and and as as you could see uh, just by uh, looking at the box scores from those games. Um, Actually, I'll even try to get them pulled up here as we try and recap our our broadcasts um, here from, uh, well, this was over the weekend. I was talking with Alex Hedlund. By the way, coming up later in tonight's contest, we will have our uh, keys to the game, our keys to the game here 
on Digital North Media. For the Knight Riders in their game against Dickinson earlier this weekend, it was Abby Shower with a huge night. She had three goals and an assist to lead the Knight Riders uh, to a 6-2 to two win. That was a big, I believe that was a six-point contest, if okay. I remember right. It was either a three or a six, but I believe that was a, actually, no, that was a three-point contest. The six-pointer came on Saturday when the Knight Riders traveled to uh, Mandan to take on the Mandan uh, girls hockey team there. And it was all Knight Riders, two to one after one. Stayed that way until the third period when the Knight Riders tacked on two more to take the four to two win. Uh, let's take a look at the scoring in that one. A couple of kids that come to mind from that one, Abby Shower had uh, two goals in that contest. She added one assist for the Knight Riders. The other Knight Riders goals were by Kylie Autry. Kylie Autry is one of those players that really plays hard and, uh, and a player yep. we've talked about over the last couple of weeks, Haley Stenberg. And uh, look for Haley Stenberg, Abby Shower, Kylie Autry, uh, and, and put in Morgan Stenseth and Shaylee Richards there. And, yep. and this is gonna be a great night ride, our hockey team. Not only tonight, but uh, still to come as the season goes on. We're about ten and a half minutes away from start time here at Eagles Arena in Grand Forks. It's the Grand Forks Knight Riders coming into this one with a five and one record, taking on the nine and two, uh, the nine and two Thief River Falls Prowlers. We'll come back with more on our pregame show after this timeout. You are watching North Dakota High School hockey between the North Dak or the Grand Forks Knight Riders and our friends from the east, the Thief River Falls Prowlers. We'll come back with more in just a few minutes. You're watching or you're watching continuing live coverage of North Dakota High School hockey. Girls action right here on Digital North Media. Back after this timeout. Just a reminder, kids who participate in high school activities tend to go a little farther than those who don't. Take part. Get set for life. This isn't Madison Square Garden. These drills probably won't make anyone a number one draft pick. But these players are practicing for something important. While they work on their jump shots, they're also learning teamwork, discipline, self-confidence, how to deal with wins and losses. Skills that will make them winners long after they leave the court. Support high school activities in your community. Because when kids take part, they get set for life. National studies show that students who participate in activities like music, sports, and drama not only have better grades and attendance, but they develop the character to handle adversity, the grace to accept defeat, and the self-confidence to start over. Take part, get set for life. Just a reminder, kids who participate in high school activities tend to go a little farther than those who don't. Take part. Get set for life. All right, back here at Eagles Arena in Grand Forks. I'm Chris Larson, joined by Marcus Dale. And Marcus, we got a, a bunch of games on the docket tonight. Uh, just take a look. Here at, at our girls' games. We got six girls' games going on tonight. Yep. West Fargo takes on Fargo North South. West Fargo United takes on Fargo North South. Sorry, I had to get the cell phone out of the picture. Man, they had Taco to Bag here tonight, Marcus. They did. Boy, was that. I'm still trying to figure out what, what kind of bars did you get us? I don't know. They were good, though. Were they good? Yeah. 
Bismarck is, uh, make, makes the trek a couple of miles over to Mandan. West Fargo, or uh, uh, Devil's Lake travels to Fargo. Fargo Davies. That must have been a fun ride. Yeah. Uh, Thief River Falls at Grand Forks here in this one tonight at Eagles Arena. Williston is at Minot, and Dickinson travels the border. They'll take on the Sydney Montana 19U team wow. tonight in uh, non-league action. All the other games are league games. On the boys' side, Mayville Portland is at Wapit and Breckenridge. And uh, that should be a fun matchup between the the Mayport. Are they still the Ice Dogs or are they the they Patriots? They are still now? the Ice Dogs, yep. They are still the Ice Dogs. We the won Ice Dogs, the dispute. So. The Ice Dogs take on Wap Breck. West Fargo hosts... Uh, West Fargo travels to Devil's Lake. Bismarck Century travels to Mandan. Grafton Park River goes to West Fargo to take on the Cheyenne Mustangs. Red River is at Fargo North. Fargo South Shanley is at Central. We'll try and get you an update on that. And Minot High makes the couple hour trek south to take on the Bismarck High Demons tonight in hockey action. That's your boys and girls wrap up tonight here in North Dakota. Coming up at the top of the hour here on Digital North Media, actually it looks like it'll be a few minutes past the top of the hour. It'll be the Grand Forks Night Riders taking on the Thief River Falls Prowlers. And uh, speaking of the Grand Forks Night Riders, I had a chance to visit with head coach Alex Headland prior to today's matchup and uh, I asked uh, Coach Hedlund what the three keys to the game are in tonight's contest. And uh, the three keys to the game go like this. Stay disciplined in the defensive zone. Capitalize on offensive zone opportunities. And shut down Thief River Falls top players. And uh, Marcus, you and I went through uh, the Thief River Falls roster. And they got some they got some heavy hitters over there at, uh, at Prowler Country. And... Uh, just taking a look at their uh, their player stats for the Thief River Falls Prowlers. They are led in scoring by Danielle, uh, sorry, uh, Shelby Bryland with 10 goals, 6 assists for 16 points. Chloe Lund has added 8 goals, 9 assists for 17 po uh, points. And then it drops down to Hannah Magnuson with 6 goals and 2 assists for 8 points mm -hmm. in the contest. So we should be in for a great matchup tonight between the Knight Riders of Grand Forks and the uh, Thief River Falls Prowlers. As we take a look at uh, North Dakota high school hockey stats, we'll, we'll take a look at the Knight Riders first of all, or we'll take a look at the Knight Riders. Statistically, again, they come into this one with a 5-1 record overall. The Knight Riders are led in scoring by, uh, they are led in scoring by Abby Shower, who in uh, five games played uh, has six or 10 goals and six assists. So Abby is, is averaging eight points per game wow. on the season. Shaley Richard, six games played, three goals, nine assists for nine points, three goals, six assists for nine points. So that's uh, really the tale of the tape here, Marcus. And, uh, we, we should be in for a great matchup tonight between the Knight be. Riders and the Prowlers. We're going to get underway with our contest here in about uh, three minutes. So we are going to take another two-minute break, and we'll come back with our starting lineups and the start of our game. Back in two minutes, you are watching North Dakota High School Girls Hockey right here on Digital North Media. Back in two. Just a reminder, kids who participate in high school activities tend to go a little farther than those who don't. Take part. Get set for life. This isn't Madison Square Garden. These drills probably won't make anyone a number one draft pick. But these players are practicing for something important. 
While they work on their jump shots, they're also learning teamwork, discipline, self-confidence, how to deal with wins and losses. Skills that will make them winners long after they leave the court. Support high school activities in your community. Because when kids take part, they get set for life. National studies show that students who participate in activities like music, sports, and drama not only have better grades and attendance, but they develop the character to handle adversity, the grace to accept defeat, and the self-confidence to start over. Take part. Get set for life. All right, back here at Eagles Arena in Grand Forks. It is the Grand Forks Knight Riders taking on the Thief River Falls Prowlers as I get in prime broadcasting position. Marcus, we're having issues here. Yeah, you're kicking me while you move. That's not <laughs> well, nice. Well, I'm going to run over that power strip now. Fix that, please. Well, why did you put it there? I didn't put it. <laughs> you're the one that set that up. Oh, good enough. Now you're putting it in my way. No, nah, just All right, Marcus it. Dale's going to be running the controls. So oh I can, boy. whoa, I don't know what happened there. So I can be Ooh, up here to call the game. Perfect. Lens. All right, Marcus, are you ready to rock and roll? Let's do it. Oh, let's do it. Well, we got, oh, yeah. We got 37 seconds still. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Brad Stenberg. No, you're in the middle. You're live. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the photos. Anytime. Absolutely. Brad Stenberg providing us with photos. I suppose right. you want a you want a roster, do you, huh? Marcus. Me? Do you realize that you've got four sets? I did. Oh. Yeah, but all that's alright. Right. Clock check. That's the wrong button. Space button. Nope, it is the right button. Oh. It works. Clock check, okay. Yep. All works. right, buzzer <laughs> is blown here at Eagles Arena. That means we are just moments away from our coverage of the Grand Forks Night Riders. <coughs> And go. the Thief River Falls Prowlers here on Digital North Media. My name is Chris Larson, and I am joined by Marcus Dale. And let's meet our starting lineups first for the visitors. For the Prowlers. Faith Porter is going to start a net. Katie Nelson at defense. Lexi Hewitt at defense. At forward, eight, Ava, Sturgeon. Ava Sturgeon at forward. Four, Hannah, Magnuson. Hannah Magnuson at forward. And center, number five, Shelby and center centering is Shelby Breland for the Prowler Thief River Falls. Prowlers. Now let's take a look at the starting lineups for the home team on the scoreboard. The Knight Riders. In goal will be freshman number 24, Kendra Nordic. Haley Stenberg will be at one defensive position. And Maya Talman will be at the other defensive position. Morgan Stenseth at a forward. Shaley Richards at forward and centering the Knight Riders. Number 21, Abby Shower. So the Shower forwarding uh, Richards and uh, as we are set to go with our national anthem, our national anthem at the start of our game right here on Digital North Media.
All right, we have high school hockey here on Digital North Media, and so it's the Knight Riders taking on the Thief River Falls Prowlers. I apologize for the tapping noise in our national anthem. I believe Marcus Dale may have been tapping <laughs> either on his microphone or on his chest. And that, that was not me. Over the air. Yeah, it was. Well, no sure way. wasn't me. So it'll be the Knight Riders going from left to right. And uh, the uh, Prowlers of Thief River Falls High School going from right to left. As we get set for high school girls hockey action right here on your home for the Knight Riders all season long. This is Digital North Media. Marcus, your thoughts before we <clears throat> face this thing off. Um, we got one of the top teams in the state for North Dakota, and we got one of the top teams in the state for Minnesota. So we have a little border clash here. It'll be a good game. That's right, tops in the North Dakota High school girls hockey, the Grand Forks Knight Riders. Tops in their division. Not Thompson. The Grand Forks Knight Riders, I said. Thief River. No, I and said Tops in their oh. division <laughs> of the Minnesota oh, man. ranks. The Thief River Falls Prowlers. And we are about to get underway. It's going to be Miss Abby Shower winning the opening faceoff. And we're underway from Grand Forks. Puck quickly into the uh, Prowler's end. Thief River Falls has a play. Oh, no. The Knight Riders take it away in the Thief River Falls end. Almost a chance there for Grand Forks. Now they do get a chance and a big save there by Faith Porter. The rebound brought down by the Prowlers, and it's back to center ice. Abby Shower plays it into the neutral zone. Now it's back into the Prowler end. Here as we're just underway in our contest, 32 seconds in and already a big chance for the Grand Forks Knight Riders. And icing is called here as the clock stops with 16 minutes and change to go in our opening period. And uh, no score or the face off is gonna be to the right. Check that to the left of Kendra Nordic. Face off won by the Knight Riders. It's gonna be quickly taken there by Thief River Falls. They'll play it behind the net to behind the net to get it. For the Knight Riders is Kylie Autry. Playing it over on the far side to Quinn Fournier. Now we're into the neutral zone. Playing it in is Caitlin Peterson off of the poke check by the Prowlers. And now the Prowlers dump and change as Mar Dolliger dumps it in for the Prowlers. 15.50 to go opening period. Knight Riders and the Prowlers tied at zero. That one's going to be shot in. It's going to go behind the net. No icing because it was too far into the zone. And the Prowlers are going to take it. They're going to go the other way. With it is number 19. That is Chloe Lund. It's going to be a shot save. And nobody there for the rebound. The Knight Riders will take it. And they're going to go. Uh, they are going to change one. And it's going to be Knight Rider hockey. Or Knight Rider puck, that is. Turned over to the Prowlers. That one off the blocker of the goaltender for Grand Forks, Kendra Nordic. Now the Knight Riders play it up. With it is Abby Shower. Shower goes in, a one-on-one. -on -one. Shower tries to drag the puck and it's gonna be turned over. Back to the Prowlers we go. With it in the neutral zone, Dakota Klosterman. Knight Riders find, trying to play it in and they can't. Now they're gonna have it and it's gonna be sent in by number nine, that is Shaley Richards. Richards to the net, that's gonna be blocked in front Controlling the shot now is uh, Thief River Falls. The Prowlers are going to go two on two now. With the number five, Shelby, Shelby Breland. And Breland's going to be off sides here in the faceoff will come into the neutral zone near the Grand Forks bench with 14 and 30, with uh, 14 and change to go here in period number one. Just underway in the uh, Grand Forks, this is Knight Rider Hockey. Big turnover in the neutral zone there. Chloe Lund with it now. I believe the S that is Lund. She plays it behind the net. And now the Knight Riders have it, but they're gonna quickly turn it over to Shelby Breland. Breland will have it in the corner. Breland trying to play it in front, she does. 
and not able to get a hand on his hand of Agnes. And that one's going to be deflected in front. And a save and a whistle will be blown as coming up with the big save is Kendra Nordic here with 14 and change to go in the first period. And uh, no score between the Knight Riders and uh, the Prowlers. Shots are 3-1 in favor of the Prowlers right now. So we're coming up on 14 minutes to go in a period number one. The Prowlers have it behind the Knight Rider net. They tried to poke it in on the side. They couldn't. With it at the point is uh, Nybuer, Daniela Nybuer. Her shot is going to be saved by uh, Nordic in another faceoff in the Knight Rider end. Knight Riders getting out shot early here in this one, 4-1. to one. Faceoff is going to be to the right of Nordic taking the faceoff. Bella Amiot for the Prowlers, and she wins the faceoff. It's going to be taken now by Haley Regala. They'll keep it in the Thief River Falls end. Oh, scramble in front, almost an opportunity for the Prowlers, but the Knight Riders get it back. With it behind the net is Quinn Fournier for the Knight Riders. Back and forth we go. 13 and a half minutes to go in our first period of a scoreless hockey game here from Grand Forks. It is the Grand Forks Knight Riders and the Thief River Falls Prowlers tonight here on Digital North Media. Playing in that in for Thief River Falls was Katie Nelson, Nelson a junior. There are only four seniors on this uh, Prowler team. Prowlers have it behind the Knight Rider net. And oh, there goes, knocked off the play are the Prowlers. Nice hit there by Haley Stenberg. And now the Knight Rider is going to clear it. Oh, oh, all the way down, but it's not going to be an icing as uh, they were far enough. But the Knight Riders with a golden opportunity, and now go the Prowlers. Two on one for the Prowlers. That shot, oh, that's going to be deflected in front. Now the Knight Riders go the other way. Two on two goes the Grand Forks Knight Riders. 22 Jessica Ooh. Lee to Ooh. Kylie Autry, and that goes up. Good snag. And a nice snag there by the Prowler goaltender. And there will be a faceoff deep in the Thief River end here with 12 minutes and 31 seconds to go in our first period. Buck in the prowler and now, ooh. Nice opportunity there. Opportunity there for Lee. Could not put the centering attempt home. And uh, the goaltender, Faith Porter, will hang on again and a whistle and a face off to the right of Porter. Winning that face-off is Abby Shower for the Knight Riders. There's a blast from the point to save me by the goaltender Porter. And uh, the clock stops again. Now the Knight Riders are being out shot, shot four to three, so a great comeback. Another face-off win by, well, no, that was one by Thief River. Hit the coach. And it hit the coach and... Uh, Faceoff will be again to the right of the tender. That one is won by Thief River Falls. Prowlers have it behind their own net. Tia Petrescu with it. The uh, sending it up is number four, Kim Glynn. And it's going to be sent all the way down to the Knight Rider end. Trying to bring it up is Shaley Richards. That's off to number 17, Hannah Gray. Gray goes in, two on two, shot, and oh, a nice save by Faith Porter. Now coming to the point is Haley Stenberg with it. Stenberg looks like she got shot out of a cannon as she gets in there on the action. And now we're gonna go back to center ice, 11.30 to go in our period, and it's Knight Riders, nothing, and uh, the Prowlers, nothing. Abby Shower has it top of the or at the point. Shower's going to have it now. Oh, that's going to be a big chance for the Knight Riders, steering it aside the Prowlers. Prowlers have it in the Knight Rider end here. And now we're back to center ice. So oh, big, big opportunity there for the Prowlers. They couldn't do anything with it now. 
And now we're going to go the other way. 10 50 and counting to go. And is that going to be far enough for an icing? It will. An icing stops the clock with 10 43 to go in our first period. And it's the Grand Forks Knight Riders 0, Thief River Falls 0. <laughs> Back and forth action here in our first period, Marcus. It, it is, yeah. Uh, we knew it was going to be pretty even coming into this game, and we're being showed that. Oh, and that's almost a golden chance there for the Prowlers. Oh, that would have been a great chance, but it's going to be taken away by the Knight Riders. Now it's a turnover in the neutrals, or in the offensive zone. Chloe Lawn took it away from the Knight Riders, and the Riders, or the Knight Riders, or Prowlers, that is, they're trying to get a shot opportunity here. They have four shots on goal compared to three for the Knight Riders. 10-10 to go in our opening period. No score still. Quinn Fortier with it behind the net. It's going to be off to Hannah Gray, and that's going to go just past Hannah's outstretched arms, and the Prowlers are going to have it behind the net with the number 14, Hannah Magnuson. Magnuson, she gets rubbed off the play by Gray. It's going to go around the net. There to collect it is number eight. And uh, that is Ava Sturgeon. Knight Riders zero, Prowlers zero. In a period number one. Oh, and that one almost to turn over in the offensive zone as now it is turned over to the neutral zone. Here go the Prowlers. Prowlers are going to catch the Knight Riders. Not looking. Oh, not knowing where that one was. Kendra Nordic, second shot. Opportunity no good. And rebound controlled by the Prowlers. That one out in front. Prowlers getting a lot of great looks here so far. Oh, and a drag down. No penalty called there. We'll play on here as we near nine minutes to go in the first period. A lot of back and forth action here in this one. Oh, and now are they going to catch the Prowlers in a line change? Yes, they are. Kylie Autry gets into the zone. The Knight Riders try to keep it in with it. Number five, Caitlin Peterson. She hasn't taken away, and now they're going to get an odd man rush on the Knight Riders are the Prowlers. Prowlers send it in, getting it behind the net. Haley Stenberg for the Knight Riders of Grand Forks, and that one's going to be blocked there as be uh, uh, one on or one change there and this one's going to go all the way down for an icing as we have 825 to go in our opening period and uh, we're still scoreless here at Eagles Arena in Grand Forks between the Grand Forks Knight Riders and the Thief River Falls Prowlers face off is going to be to the right of Kendra Nordic face off one there by Thief River Falls. Now they're winning the battle of the face-offs here so far, Marcus. And that centering attempt is going to go all the way out and down to the Prowler end. So now the Prowlers are going to have to regroup as trying to get that regroup started is Katie Nelson. We're going to go to the neutral zone now. Haley Stenberg back and forth action here. Eight minutes to go in our first period. It's scoreless here in Grand Forks. Battling for it are the Knight Riders and the Prowlers. And now the Prowlers are going to get it. They're going to send it out to the neutral zone. Prowlers have it in the Knight Rider end. That shot save. Oh, Nordic almost had to get up and make a second save, but it's going to be cleared out. Cleared out by the Knight Riders. And now the Prowlers going to try to get it back in. With it, number 19, Chloe Lund. That's going to be taken away. A blast from the point. Shot save. Rebound and a goal. Second chance opportunity, not denied by Nordic, and the Prowlers take the lead here with 7.28 to go in a period number one, and it is 1-0 Thief River Falls. We'll get the scoring on that. 1-0 for the Prowlers here in period number one. Face off one. By the Knight Riders. Now, now the Knight Riders going to bring it the other way. Eleven nine eight on that. So it is Amy up from Lund and Sturgeon to get our first goal of the game. 
And now the Prowlers, goal! Big blast from the left point! And the Prowlers take the 2-0 lead now on a goal at the 10.05 mark in period number one. And it's 2-0. Thief River Falls. As we will await the scoring on that one, here is, well, the net seems to have come off its moorings down in the Knight Rider end, but with 6.55 to go. Here we go. Face off one by Thief River again. Prowlers. Shelby Breland with an unassisted goal. And so the Knight Riders now trail 2-0 with uh, six and, or seven or six and change to go here in our first period. Face off to the right of the goaltender, won by the Knight Riders, back to the point. That shot by number 13, Maya Telman, deflected by the Prowlers, and now it's going to go back into the Knight Rider end. 6.27 to go, opening period. Knight Riders trail 2 0. They got to get something started here. Prowlers get in the neutral zone. Now the Knight Riders trying to send it back in. Prowlers have it. Near side. Oh, and that's going to go all the way down. Is it going to be an icing? It is. And a tough break there for the Knight Riders as it'll be an icing all the way down with just under 6 10 to go in our opening period. And a 2 0 lead for the Thief River Falls Prowlers. Marcus, we knew this was going to be a tough game coming into here. We did. Face-off again, won by the Prowlers. Now, the Prowlers need to uh, get some face-off wins here, or the uh, Knight Riders do, that is, uh, or, or some offensive uh, firepower, one of the two. We're going to go all the way down the other way. Knight Riders have it behind the Prowler now. Oh, and a big chance out front. It's not loose. Oh, and that shot at the corner and the... Whistle finally blows as uh, Abby Shower tried to poke that one right behind Faith Porter. And Faith Porter says, no way, Jose. And the Knight Riders continue pressing here. Face off to the left of the goaltender, Porter. Face off one behind the Knight Riders again. Oh, and a battle for it. We got a penalty. And we'll see who the penalty is on. Is it going to be on the goaltender? We'll wait and see. No, it's not going to be on the goaltender. It is going to be on number 20. And that is Daniela Nybier. Here as she'll go off two minutes for tripping. So the first power play for the Knight Riders to the left of the Thiefer for Falls goalie. And now the Knight Riders win the faceoff. Shower has it. We're played into the corner. Now the say up for Shower shot. Oh, that's going to be blocked by Thief River Falls, and it's going to go out of the zone. Now the Knight Riders have to uh, rethink that strategy. Puck in the uh, Thief River Falls end. As we continue action here on the man advantage, for the Knight Riders. Knight Riders doing a very good job of keeping the puck in the Thief River Falls end during this man advantage. And that's really what you want to do, Marcus. You want to keep that puck in the opposing, opposing team's end when you're on the man advantage. Offsides the call. 4.48 to go in our opening period. And uh, 113 on the uh, Knight Rider man advantage. Don't forget, if you want to sponsor our Knight Rider coverage here on Digital North Media. Send us an email, info at digital media, digitalnorthmedia.com. We'd love to get you on our sponsorship team. And, and not only do you have opportunities to sponsor Knight Rider Hockey, as there's a big turnover in the neutral zone, but we are also going to be covering some area high school basketball this year. There's a shot from the point. That's going to be deflected in front. And the Knight Riders will take it back here. Play rolls on. We're nearing four minutes to go in the period. 
And under a minute on the man advantage, and then icing will be called. It will go back to the Knight Rider end with uh, about 4.14 to go in our opening period. Knight Riders being outshot 9-5. 39 seconds left on the man advantage, and the faceoff to the left of Knight Rider goalie Kendra Nordic. Faceoff won there by the Prowlers. Back to the neutral zone. <coughs> Sorry about that. Darn Taco to Big getting to me. Prowler shot to save. Oh, big save there for the goaltender, Kendra Nordic. And now the Knight Riders going to bring it up. Abby Shower has it now. Shower just moves through traffic so nicely. Shower all alone to the net. Big save by the goaltender. Porter. See forever back at full strength. Oh, one, two. Two opportunities. Puck is loose. And the Prowlers try to clear it. And they do. Prowlers clear it with 320 and counting to go in our first period. That shot is going to be wide. Don't know if that was a shot attempt, but uh, nonetheless, it went wide. Now here's an opportunity for the Prowler, Prowler, Prowlers. No no goal and a delayed penalty called and it's a hooking minor here with 3.07 to go in the period and the Knight Riders trail 2-0 penalty is going to go on the Knight Riders and it is going to be number 5 Caitlin Peterson so Peterson will go off 2 minutes for hooking and now the Knight Riders are going to be down a man here for the next 2 minutes and, and you don't want to do that, Marcus, with, with your team down 2 nothing. No, you don't. That's not a good situation. All right, we're back to live action. Here we at Eagles Arena in Grand Forks and the Knight Riders. Oh, Thief River Falls trying to keep it in the Knight Rider end, and they're being successful so far. With it at the point, Emily Becker. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong roster. Got to turn it back to the Thief River Falls. Line. That shot save. Rebound. Nobody's got the rebound. It's going to be controlled by the Knight Riders. And they're going to go all the way down the ice. Big clearing there by the Knight Riders. And now the Prowlers are going to try to bring it back. Oh, they're going to try to bring it back three on. They're going to go with three on two. No, for a moment there it was four on three. We are coming up on two minutes to go in our first period. Knight Riders trail, two nothing. That one's gonna be cleared all the way into the neutral zone, or into the Prowler zone. Oh, the Knight Riders get behind the net, oh. shot wide! That shot attempt by Jessica Lee goes wide. Tough break there for the Knight Riders. Prowlers going the other way. Oh, it's going to be a nice feed to number 14, Anna Magnuson. Now they're going to get back to the point to number five, Shelby Bright Breland. Check that 15. Tia Petrescu. Shot from the point, and that one's going to go wide. Rebound controlled by Petrescu for the Prowlers. Petrescu has it. Top of the key to Chloe Lund. Shot save. Rebound controlled again. By the Prowlers, back and forth we go here in this one as we are coming up on about a minute to go in our first period. Now the Knight Riders turning over in their own end. A lot of the play has been in the Knight Rider end this first period, Marcus. Yep. Final minute of our first period, nice uh, centering attempt and it's gonna be broken up by the Knight Riders. But it's going to be not broken up for very long. Shot, save, rebound. Is it going to be a goal? No, it's not. It's going to be traffic in front. The Knight Riders still trying to clear it. They can't. The Grand Forks Knight Riders cannot clear it. And this has got to be a frustrating. And a goal. Big goal there on the centering attempt to Breland. And Breland gets the goal here with 34 seconds or approximately 35 to go in the first period, and it's a three nothing Knight Rider lead. Thief River lead. Correction, Thief River lead. My apologies. 
three nothing, Prowlers. 30 seconds to go in the period. It's gonna be a five, Brylin. From 19, Lund and eight, Sturgeon. So we're gonna have a face off and icing all the way down. Face off to the left of Knight Rider goalie Kendra Nordic. Stick around after our first period for our first period intermission. We will recap period number one here in Grand Forks. Knight Riders. Final 10 seconds. Shower has it. Oh, that's going to be blocked and a big save. Big save there by Faith Porter on a streaking Abby Shower. And the Knight Riders will have one final chance here with five seconds to go in the opening period and the faceoff deep in the Prowler end. Faceoff one to buy the Prowlers or the Knight Riders that in. They get one final shot and our period is over. So after one period of play, it's the Knight Riders trailing the Prowlers. Nothing. 3-0 our score after one period. And we'll be back after this timeout on Digital North. All right, back here at Eagles Arena in Grand Fork. I think we're at Eagles Arena in Grand Forks. Yes, we are. Well, I'm just making sure we're Lots here. of technical difficulties. Okay, there we go. Now we're, we're live and in color, and we're underway. Period. This is... Oh, this is going to be a night we're not going to remember. Mar we're not going to forget, Marcus. Oh, man. First time we've had technical difficulties here on Digital North Media. And, uh, yeah, our power strip went out. And a goal for Thief River Falls. They score 19 seconds in to the second period. And it's 4 to nothing. TRF, 19 seconds in. Okay. So, the Nine Riders trail here now. Four to nothing to the Prowlers of Thief River Falls. Marcus, you got everything back up and running? Oh, I'm trying. All right, I believe. Are we online we, now? I think we're back on. Now Alex Headland is not happy about something. Head coach of the Night Riders, Alex Hedlund, not happy. Again, thank you for tuning in. Our technical issues should be taken care of now. And uh, we should be back to live action here at Eagles Arena in Grand Forks. So 19 seconds in. And it's four to nothing, Knight Riders. Oh, a big chance there for Thief River. Again, thanks for sticking with us. Through some technical issues. 15.55 to go in the third. And the Knight Riders trail 4 nothing. Check that, we're in the second, not the third. Puck in the Prowler end and a big save there for the Prowler goaltender. 